everyone my name's Catherine if you're new here welcome to the channel and if you're a subscriber thank you so much for your support hi so this is going to be my completed pages for uh, January um, and this is my progress on my 10 books to complete um, uh, some of the books, as you can see, I'm racing ahead, possibly because I already had a lot done. Like Christmas, that book, that'll be finished this year, whatever. Um, I don't have that out at the moment. Um, and Tea Party, I've been working previously in that quite a lot. But then some of the other ones um, are literally what I've been doing now. So um, you can see I haven't done any out of the Sabbaths book. Uh, but this is my progress, so uh, let's have a look at what I've done. Um, so, starting off with my 10 books to complete. Um, first of all, I've got A Million Little Monsters by Lulu Mayo. Um, and the plan is to complete five pages a month, and I have achieved that uh, in January. So, this is what I've done. So, this was a whip, actually, so that, that worked out even better. Um, and what I'm mostly doing is just um, water-based markers and glitter gel pens, if I want to jazz it up a bit. I did this one. So this one, the dragon, is all sparkly and the little guy is just in the water-based markers. I really enjoyed this one. I don't know why my cat ended up being pink, but that seemed appropriate. This I'd already done previously. This is the one that I did this month, and I just decided, yeah, sparkly purple background. Definitely. And then this was another whip. And I got that finished off. So that is that one done, and that is also uh, five pages counted towards um, Nikki and Niagara's hashtag, which is... Uh, Nikki and the Little Monsters. So that also counts towards that. So that's a, a great start. Okay, so next... I couldn't find it then. Is uh, Creative Haven Sea Life uh, by George Tufexis. Um... So I need to do three to four a month and I only did two this month. I got busy with other things so I need to get on that um, going forward. I started off strong but then I don't know, things just didn't happen. Uh, I'm just using any alcohol permanent markers that I come across to do these. That's that one. And then I got this one. And this book, um, I originally had the Colouring Haven Special Issue 3, but this only has 32 pages and the actual book has got 45. But what this does have is bits of information about um, the animals and things like that. So I, where I've got, not every page has got that, but where I have got information, I'm going to take that and put it into here. Um, is what I'm thinking. That's my that's my plan um, with those. Um, so yeah, not not doing very well here um, with that one. But you know, what can you do? So I haven't done any from Christmas. Uh, Mythomorphia. Okay, so Kirby Rosanna's Mythomorphia. Um, I've done this double page spread um, with the gnomes, got quite a bit of glitter gel pen on there, just 
just not in the mood for colouring them in. I don't really like them. Um, but I don't know, they just caught my eye this time and I went with it because I knew it was a page I was going to struggle to get motivated with. So, you know, that's good. Is that all I did? I think that, I think that is all I did in here. I was working in something else with some stickers, so yeah, that's all I did. So that's that. Um, so I need to mark that off. Apologies. I need to mark that off. So I do. So it counts as two pages. Okay. Um, because. Obviously, some of the pictures are single, and I wasn't going to... There are some single ones, I promise. Oh, my God, I find any now. Some of them are single, and I, when I counted them, I didn't want to like go one, two, three, you know, and be so picky. So, yeah. So, I need to do five to six of these a month. So, again, I'm behind. And, you know, I started off so well and I was like, oh, yeah, we're really doing this. Um, no. Okay, next is Tea Party. So, A Mad Tea Party by Deborah Muller. Uh, this is the project book where I'm doing um, this thing. Um, I'm sure some of you remember this, where I'm doing both sides. Uh, so, let me show you what I've done. Um, so, I've got excited with some background ideas of putting washi down so I did that a few times so that's what happened here so I've coloured this page so that doesn't count that's not finished but I've done this page okay alcohol marker glitter gel pen that's what you're going to be seeing I hope you I hope you like alcohol marker and glitter gel pen because that's what you're having um I did this one, did I? No, I didn't. I did the washi, ready, all excited. Um, yes, so I did, I did do this one. I just really like the colours of that. Okay. That one's fab. And then I did this one. I don't know why I just fancied doing it. So I'm actually pretty ahead with this. I need to do two, three pages a month. And I did one. One. Two. Three, no, that was already done. Three. Perhaps that's right, perhaps I did do three. Yeah. So I've done three on here, so that's good. And I've started the background to those other ones because this is the easier side. <laughs> so that one's not too bad. I'm like, you know, up to date with that one. Um. Okay. Next one is Floresta um, by Eclipse, AJ Quinnell. So this is one of the colour art colouring books. Um, this, I'm not counting them because I just need to have done all the winter by the end of winter. So, you know, it's going like that. So, there's that one. These are just um, alcohol Alcohol markers, a little bit of white gel pen on there to jazz it up a bit. So that's on track because this month is still winter and I've just got that one to do. And then um, 
I'll be away. So that one is on track. Saffron. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's not tea time yet. Please come out of the way. Come out of the way. Oh my goodness. Okay, next I've got um, Atlas, also by Eclipse. Um, and I've done three in this. So I've done the UK page. Which I really like. Added a bit of detail on the windows on his hat. Added some uh, metallic on buttons and on the crown. So that's that one. And then I also did um, USA. So I did that one. Like that. And I did Australia. Why did I do them? I don't know why I chose those to do. I don't know what made me pick those ones. Seem to be a little bit random, don't they? But I've got, unsurprisingly, I've got a project that I'm doing with these. So keep your eyes peeled as to what goes on with that. Saffron, you're driving me insane. Okay, next on my list uh, of books to complete. Um, wow Africa Mystery Mosaics by Belba Family. Hey, have you seen their new one that's just come out? I've just ordered it, so I'll be flipping that as soon as it arrives. Um, it's um, similar to like circle ones, uh, colour by number, circles, um, but they're all, each thing is a little heart. So I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be cute. It's going to be so cute. Um, anyway, anyway, back to this. So I've done this one. And this one I did um, a bit of white gel pen around the giraffe to make him pop out a bit more. Uh, because I really, really like him, but... It isn't quite as bad on camera, but it, it all becomes a bit of a blur. So, so yeah, I did that just to make him stand out a little bit more. Uh, I need to do one to two of these a month, and I did two, so I'm bang on with that. Boom. Boom, Saffron. Yeah, exactly. Um, last one, then, is Wild Tackalations. Uh, Creative Haven, this is by John Wick. Um, absolutely love this book. I shall be sad when it's finished. I do these in glitter gel pen. So this is the elephant's page. I know it can be difficult to tell what the animals are sometimes. Um, and sometimes colouring them doesn't help. <laughs> so that's the elephant's page. Um, this page is a mess, but you know, whatever. Um, I tried these markers where you draw a line and the middle is the colour and the outside of the line is silver. Those outliner type pens. And I, did, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I abandoned it halfway through um, so you can see the difference. Uh, where I finally came back, went over it all and finished it so that's so that's what's happening there and then there's a snake one this was a whip for a little bit because i'd started outlining the gold but now that it's finished you know it, it, it's good it's worth it it is worth it have i tallied these no uh so basically i've got one two three four left you know, so I don't need to really tally them because we're under control. The Sabbaths book, I have started. I've got some whips, but I haven't finished anything in there. And like I said, I'm not expecting to finish that one. It's such a massive book and it's brand new. Okay, other things. Other things that are not on that list. 
Uh, this is 3D Illusion, one colour colouring book by Sun Life Drawing. Uh, I'm just doing these in order and I'm just really enjoying myself. So these are all glitter gel pen. I'm just having a beautiful time. And this one, was it this one? Uh, I don't think it was, I think it was this one. I did one of these on camera. <laughs> Um, so that's that. Okay, 101 Unique Mandalas by Camilla Angelkova. Um, so I did this one based on the colour palette of Cutie Fly. I got this one. This is in Glitter Gel Pen in the colour palette of Tucanon which is a Pokemon, if it's not obvious, from the Pokeballs. Um, I did this one because, beautiful. And then these last two are Snowflake Mandalas. So basically they're one colour Mandalas. So as you can see, I did this for uh, hashtag one colour challenge 2024. Um, and this one as well. So that's those. Fabulous. Okay, colour art books by Eclipse. Uh, Helios. These are pretty addictive. Just doing um, alcohol marker in here. And they're just so bold and so bright. Nice big shapes and spaces to colour. Nice thick line art. So I'm just flying through this. And you look and you go, how many pages have you done in that already? <gasps> yeah, I'm really enjoying that book. Quattro, um, I finished. I finished this book. So this is where there's four little pictures. And I think I'm going to cut these out and use them as if they're giant stickers or something. Or I've got a sticker album where I, I, w I will share my sticker collection and show you this. But like I might put this in and then put mushroom stickers around it. So these are just cute little, cute little images. Different seasons, different themes, lots of nature. So that's that one, that one is finished. Okay. Halloween All Year Long by Deborah Muller. Um, took me ages to get started in this. But I did this January page, New Year's Baby. So I'm pleased with that. I did this one. I really like that. I love my colours. This is Gold Locks and the Three Bears, isn't it? But I did her with this really dark hair. It's perhaps a bit too dark against the background. Perhaps I should outline it in white. I don't know. But look at the bears. I really like the bears. They're so cute. Um, see, once I got going, I was away with it. Look at this. Isn't he fab? Love cacti. So that was amazing. And then I did this dude. Because um, you automatically think, cat, he's going to be black. 
and he's got wings, bat wings, he's going to be black. But I was like, no, I don't want that. So I've done glitter, black glitter gel pen background. And um, he's red because he's a demon and, and that still makes sense. So I was really pleased with that. And then my bat down here. And I like my moon in this colour. What does it mean? I don't know. So yeah, I'm pleased now I'm making progress with that. Okay. Mythographic uh, Menagerie by Fabiana Atanasio. I've never coloured in this before. This is new to me. That The book isn't new to me, but colouring in it is new to me this month. And I'm like, yeah, go me. Um, this is one of the reasons I bought the book. These amazing puffins. I love puffins. So this was sold to me. Um, and I did some Googling to make sure I got their beaks accurate. And then I Googled tuxedos because I was like, oh no, the puffins are black. I then don't want black tuxedos, do I? That's going to be really boring and miserable. Um, so when I found this tuxedo, which was the dark grey and the touch of black, I was like, yes, perfect. Still obviously a tuxedo, but yes, I like it. So I'm I'm pleased with that all round. I don't feel that the colour scheme is too crazy. Kept all my um, crystals the same colour. Otherwise, this could have been a very colourful mess. And then I've done this guy. Um, but this was the last thing I coloured in um, January. And I love him. So he's... Um, I just knew I wanted his spots to be uh, multicoloured. So this is this is what I've ended up with, and I'm I re I'm really happy with it. I really like it. You know, when you do something, you're like, yes, yes, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. I put off colouring in this, this book because. You look at the images and you think, oh, this is hardcore colouring, you've got to do proper colouring. Well, not if it means you never colour in it, you haven't. So I've decided, no, I'm, I'm just going to do, this is just alcohol markers and glitter gel pen. And just, just do it. Just do it. And I'm, I'm really happy. So there you go. <laughs> um, so those are my completed pages for January. Um, I think I'm doing all right with my 10 books to complete. And I'm chuffed that I've started this book and I'm cracking on with my Deborah Muller. Yeah, I'm feeling quite positive. At the end of the month, I'm feeling quite positive about my colouring journey. Um, so thank you for joining me Um on this <laughs> um if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel that helps to support me and the channel okay i'll see you on the next one bye